Hello, I'm Javier Hernandez reporting from Washington. Every year, more than half a million people are released from prison. Most find themselves back on the streets without employment. But a new federal program is helping to change that. Dan Ray from WBZ-TV in Boston brings us that story. This might look like just another business breakfast, but it's much more than that. Jeff Berglund might look like just another caterer at a business breakfast, but Jeff is much more than that, too. Jeff is back at work after five years in prison, given a second chance through a new program run by the U.S. Probation Office here in Boston. And we like to use the uh, analogy that you'll have an entire network behind you working with the employer to ensure that that individual is, you know, complying with the conditions of his release. Jeff works for SnapChef, the company that catered this breakfast for prospective employers of ex-offenders. Out of the 10 people that joined the program, they all became apprentices. And there's eight working full-time for SnapChef currently and the other two are taking union jobs that are paying over $30 an hour, so we're pretty happy about the results. More than 40 employers listened as representatives of Boston, Massachusetts, and the federal government explained the advantages of hiring ex-offenders. Donnie Heenan's company has employed ex-offenders in the automotive industry. There's an old expression that uh, sometimes sin is he can reform, but uh, stupid is forever. So uh, we'll absolutely give him a chance. Does this program make a difference? Just ask Jeff. It's hard to find a job after you've been out of the work for for so long, so I feel it's very important. This program will be hosting job fairs for potential employers and ex-offenders later this month in New Bedford and in Lynn in June. From U.S. Federal District Court, Dan Ray, WBZ News. That program is part of a national initiative launched by the judiciary last year. To find out more, contact the Office of Probation and Pretrial Services at 202-502-1641. Again, thanks to Dan Ray and the CBS affiliate in Boston, WBZ-TV, for that report. Reporting from Washington, I'm Javier Hernandez.